this video is to show you how to restore or open a company file that you have backed up. Normally when you back up a company file it is for safekeeping and you wouldn't normally want to use that file. However, if something happens to um, the file in your program and you do need to restore it, this is what you need to do. So I have my MYOB open. I haven't actually opened the company file. So now I'm going to click on open your company file. I need to go to the location where my backup is. In this case it's on my uh, USB. Actually it says backup because it's gone straight to my backup folder. Now you'll notice on the right hand side it's not showing. What, uh, what is happening is the program is looking for a MyOB file as you can see down here. It says it's looking for a .myo file. Now this sometimes is, can, be, can be a bit confusing because the backup file is a zip file. Right, so what we need to do is select the type of file here, the arrow, and then click on All Files. And then if we have a look, uh, we're back to our backup folder and here's our zip file here. Select our zip file and then click on open. The next screen that you see, the dialog box is save as. As you can see up here, it's a save as. So what Maya requires you to do is save the file and you'll find that you'll need to name it differently to the original file. MyOB will not allow you to save the file or save as a previous file name. So the ideal thing to do here is go to where you want to save this file. Normally a MyOB file is on the C drive. This is where I'm going to go. In my case, I'm using the Enterprise ED, 19 Enterprise ED. So depending on what version MyOB you're using, you need to go to that folder. I'm going to double click on that to open it. Okay. As I scroll down below the folders, we'll see the file names that I have here. You'll notice that I already have a file name called Clearwater because that's the file I backed up. MyOB will not allow me to have another MyOB file called Clearwater. It won't allow me to replace it either. So what I then need to do is name it, say, Clearwater. I'm just going to call it Backed Up or Restored, actually is a better name, Restored Clearwater. Better still, clear water restored. The other way you could do it is put a date, which would be the ideal way. Um, if you are going to restore a file from a previous file name, just put a date so that you know which is the latest one. I'm going to save that. Gives a new message. The restore company file will be named Clearwater Restored and saved in the C Enterprise directory. Say OK to that message. Just open your file the usual way. I don't have a password. I'm just going to say OK. OK. And my file is now ready for use and it's the new backed, um, the restored file from the original backup.